And welcome back. We are on the road in Paoli this week. The land was originally settled back in 1846 by then Dane County Sheriff Peter Matz. He built a sawmill on the Sugar River a year later. He named it Paoli back in 1856 after a town near his birthplace in Pennsylvania. In 1860, a pair of brothers built a three-story mill next to the Sugar River, and it still stands today. Welcome back to Paoli. Somebody that knows way more than I do. Oh, yeah. You know us. a lot, though. Those were some good facts. It was on my script. Yeah. Well, okay. we have Julie McGowan here. Julie, you are the Lori. opera. Lori McGowan. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Lori. <laughs> Jessica, you should have been here. I should have, but we sorry. talked about it. We want to talk about the mill, though. A really, really awesome place in Paoli that has a little bit of everything. It does. We have many wonderful businesses. We've got Sugar River Outfitters, a canoe company. We've got the Hop Garden, which is a great brewery. Mm. We've got Tipsy Gypsy, which is a wonderful gift shop and a liquor boutique. Um, then we've got Purple Goose, the Cookhouse, and, and a beautiful Airbnb. And it keeps us very busy. We have, I believe, over 172 music acts this season. Oh, oh my goodness. That's from May 1st through October 31st. And there's one going on right now, too. Correct. Uh, Radiant Beings out there right now. They've been with us for years. Super nice group of people, and they sing beautifully. So I was in Paoli. I sat by the river a little bit. I went to get some barbecue oh, yes. at the barbecue. It's so good. It's so good. And then the coolest thing was you go into the liquor boutique and you can sample the cocktails Absolutely. before you buy one at the bar. That it's is brilliant. the secret of the place. It is, yes. It's meant to be super comfortable. I don't know how many liquor stores or boutiques you get to walk into where you get to look at the bottle and talk to the person <laughs> and yeah. try it out before you actually have to buy it. Yeah. It makes it much more pleasant for everybody. We try to be super comfortable. You've been here a long time. How many 21 years? 21 years. Wow. Are you surprised that this place has grown in popularity? Yes and no. It is an absolutely beautiful place. Yeah. It was popular before COVID put us on the map. We became, we had corporate meetings of million dollar businesses happen in the park on a Tuesday during COVID. Wow. We would walk in and there would be 40 people 10 feet apart having a meeting. Amazing. And we kind of got put on the map for it. We used to do weddings and it was a wonderful wedding venue, but these days, the music has taken over, and it's been a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Jocko was saying, you know, he's driven through a lot of times, maybe hasn't stopped, but it's almost impossible not to stop now. And it's probably just... hard to park. Right, <laughs> yes. I'm Which, coming back. I'm we, coming back, I promise. We're, we're worth it. We tell everybody I it's worth it. the walk. It's, it's actually it. really fun. Um, it's very inclusive. It's kind of an extension of your backyard. That's what it's meant to be. We have dogs and kids and families, and we just want people to be comfortable and enjoy mm -hmm. themselves. We close at 8 o'clock at night. So it's super family friendly. Yes, yeah. 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 little quiet. So music's going on tonight for how long? Till eight o'clock. Till eight. Okay, yep. so people can still come on down. Oh yeah. Um, you know, watch the weather forecast, of course. Um, but there's still a lot going on at the mill. Lori, thank you so much. You're very welcome. For being here. Hey, before we head to break, still ahead here at five, how another historic building was turned into a multi-million-dollar investment and another successful rebirth here in Paoli.